they step out of their comfort zone and, you know, go after what they want? Okay. Um, so I'll tell a story quickly. So when I was 21, 22, um, this was uh, the period in which, bear with me, this was the period in which uh, they, were, they were beginning to have conversations about the convergence of TV, telephone, um, the TV, telephone, and the internet. And so that hadn't happened yet. What, what you see, Apple hadn't made this device yet. That hadn't happened yet. And th these were conversations. And I had, I, had, I think I was in final year, I'd finished school. I was doing my national service, yes. And so this was a very interesting area to me. And so I started researching and writing. So I would research and then I would write like an article um, and I would put it up. At the time, I didn't even have a personal blog. So there was like free blog spaces and I would put it up on these, these blogs. Um, and then I got this email from some organization. It was like in Benin. But they were inviting me to come and speak. Me, 22, national service, like barely getting through my job to come and speak on, you know, my thoughts on convergence of tele... <laughs> anyway, my parents were freaked out. I was freaked out. Um, my, my mom was doing my hair. My dad was putting together my speech. Between all of us, we sorted out uh, some sort of presentation. When I got into... I remember I, it was Benin, right? So I had to fly to Togo and then... Yeah, fly to Togo and then fly to Benin. And I remember walking into the room and there were regulators, so um, well, regulators, so like the head of NCA Ghana, grown men uh, in the room. And this 21, 22 year old is okay, so you have a stage, tell us your thoughts. And I remember thinking to myself, um, okay, so I, I swear, so I'm, just, I'm just swearing in my head, excuse me, right? Just thinking, oh God, this is like this one, it's just. I'm just going to disgrace myself here right now. Um, and I just remember, I remember doing something. So the one person, the most confident person I know in the world is my mom, right? My mom can walk into a room and she doesn't know anybody. And in five minutes, she's like, so I was just like, okay, this is what my mom will do in this situation. So I walked into the room with these grown men. I was like, hello, my name is Ethel Kofi. I'm here to speak on the subject of da 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 da. And it, uh, anyway, uh, it was the 15 minutes that I did that speech. I can't even remember. Uh, I don't, it's like, like I blanked out, right? I can't even remember. But that was my first experience in just, um, just trying it, right? And I've, over my life, I've been on bigger and bigger, bigger stages uh, over time. But it's just that one moment where I didn't shrink from, okay, I could have said, they got the wrong person. I'm only a national service person. Who, why, why would you invite me? I'm not coming. Not told anybody about it. Right? So my thing here is there's, there's, there's a confidence in, I think, that if you're born in you're born and your parents love you and care about you, there's a certain confidence you gain in that. And then there is a confidence on, in doing and trying, right? Taking one step. Taking that step and going, oh, I didn't die. <laughs> you know, like I did this thing and I didn't die. Right, I can take another step. Um, two years ago, my foundation, Women in Tech Africa, launched uh, what we call Women in Tech Week, which is a global event. The first time we did it, we did 14, oh no, sorry, 28 events, 14 countries from Ghana here. When I told my team at the time, my dream was 400 events, uh, 400 events, 40 countries. They're like, Ethel, you see this kind of behavior you have, right? But we pulled off the first one. And we was like, oh, but this thing is doable. We can do it again. So that's my advice in terms of, um, I don't know that it's confidence. I think that most of us are confident in, in, our, in, in our way. I think there is, I don't know what it is, a bravery, something there that just enables you to say, I don't necessarily have the skill set. I'm not kidding myself here. It's not, I'm like, I'm not delusional. I know I don't have the skill sets, but I'm going to try. I'm going to take that one step and I'm going to learn and I'm going to move to the, the, 
move to another step. And maybe by doing that, I grow. Um, that's, that for me, that's been my experience in, just in, in sort of doing the work that I've done, and maybe that's helpful. Thank you. Great. That was a great story.